Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Adrian from Next Gen Cryptos. I just wanted to go ahead and set this video up for you guys uh, to show you exactly how to set up your Coinbase account, your Ripple Ripix wallet, as well as how to exchange your Bitcoins into uh, XRP Ripples. So let's get started here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, go to the file section of this group and there will be a link for Coinbase. Um, so once you do that, go ahead and set up your Coinbase account. Um, it's going to ask you for some personal information. So go ahead and sign all that up. Uh, once you do that, uh, go ahead and log into your Coinbase account. And in the top right hand corner, um, sorry, this is taking a little slow. Top right hand corner, you're going to go ahead and click on your profile. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you're going to go ahead and enter your personal details here on the bottom. Um, go ahead and make sure that the, the uh, ship, the, the address that you, in, you enter is the same billing address as the debit card that you will be using. Um, once you do that, go ahead and save it. Go to preferences next. Uh, you want to make sure that you set your local currency here. If you're in Canada, it's going to be Canadian, obviously, and Euros, and so on. They have all the currencies here. So once you do that, uh, you also want to select your time zone. Um, <clears throat> and then I have mine set up uh, to where I get uh, notifications, um, and you can do that as well. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and just save that. Next thing you're going to do is go to security. All right, on security, you're going to go ahead and verify your cell phone number. Um, that's just, again, security. That's good stuff. Um, you can also set up a two step verification setting. Um, I have mine uh, not set because I'm like in and out of my Coinbase account pretty frequently, so I don't have that set up. Um, and then here on the bottom, if you have like e-commerce stores or anything like that, you can initiate a BitPay wallet um, onto those and do your Coinbase IP, the APIs here as well. Um, so once you got all that set up, go ahead and save. And then you are going to go back on top and go to payment methods. Once you go to payment methods, you're going to add payment method. And it's going to bring you to this. We're going to go, go ahead and use credit debit card. It's going to be more instant, quicker transactions. Um, you can go ahead and do a bank account setup, but that's going to take you um, about four to five days, about a week for your transaction to go through. Um, and you can also use uh, PayPal um, to sell um, into Coinbase. Let's go ahead and set up debit card. Click on that, go ahead and enter your information for your card number, click next, follow the prompts. Once you do that, your card should reflect here. So now you're going to go to, click on this button, verify. Go ahead and put your, your billing address. I keep wanting to say shipping address. <laughs> Cancel that, um, just because I'm not going to set mine up, but uh, go ahead and Make sure you guys put all your info the way it is on your profile. All right. Once you do that, um, you should be good. All right. So the next step is going to be um, making a purchase for Bitcoins. So we're just going to go to the dashboard just so I can show you this really quick. So your dashboard is going to show your portfolio balance. It's going to show recent activity, if there's been any buys or sells or transfers or anything like that. Um, so you want to buy, you click buy sell here. All right, so here if you have more than one card uh, set up, you can actually you know, toggle between the two cards. Um, I just have one set up for now. Um, here it's going to give you your weekly card limit. So this is going to be the limit that you're allowed to spend in Coinbase weekly. So they're, they're giving you a limit to buy on Bitcoins. 
Um, mine right now is five hundred dollars. Um, you can see right here it says I have two hundred and eight remaining. Um, so if yours shows fit, your 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 weekly limit's gonna be either either from fifty to about one hundred and fifty dollars um, if you're just signing up. Um, after you make your first purchase, however, your limit will increase. And if you want to increase your limits even more, you can go ahead and click increase limits here. And it's going to bring you to this, okay? So here underneath the debit credit card option, it's going to give you options um, for you to increase your limit. If you haven't um, already submitted your photo ID, that's going to be one way to get your limits a little bit higher. Um, you can see here on mine, it says buy 170 of digital currency of, with this payment method. So if I spend 170 right now, it's going to give me a higher limit. So the good thing about Coinbase is the more you use the system, the higher your limits are going to be. Um, so with that being said, let's go back to buy. So if you just have uh, your limit is only $50. What you want to do is uh, click on the buy max button um, and as soon as this pops up I'll show you exactly where that's at. Okay so right here when you click on the USD dollar amount or the um, currency amount that you have you're gonna see this buy max button come up. All you do is click that and it's gonna go ahead and convert exactly how much you can buy without going over your limit including the fees. So right now if I did a buy, I would be buying $200.02 of Bitcoins and it's basically charging me $7.98. Um, so once you do that, you're going to just go ahead and click buy Bitcoin instantly. And that's pretty much it. I can do $10 here just to show you. Confirm buy. Your purchase was successful. View dashboard. Okay, keep in mind that Coinbase is getting a lot of transactions lately. So the system is running a little bit slow. Um, so don't panic. Your Bitcoins will arrive once they do arrive. Okay, now we're going to set up our Ripix wallet. And we're going to go ahead and download this onto our desktop computer. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create an account. Uh, go to ripix.net. I will also have a link posted in the file section of this group. Um, and you can just go ahead and create your password, username. You're going to confirm your email. Um, you're going to uh, submit a photo ID and basically send all the documents over. Um, you do not have to be identified uh, I'm sorry, verified uh, to have the wallet, um, but it does help. Um, so you can go ahead and set that up. Once you do, log into your account. Then you're going to go to menu here in the top right corner, and you're going to click on Ripple Wallet. Once you do that, you're going to go to either if you have a Windows or a Mac or Linux, uh, go ahead and click on the one that you have, download it. Once you download it, open the extension and it should bring you to this. Okay, so once you do this, you're not going to see any of okay. Once you do this, you're going to want to click on the top here where it says create new account. So after that, you're going to create an empty account. Okay. If you are transferring over um, you, your ripples over to this, you would be doing the exact same thing. Um, so go ahead and create an empty account. Go ahead and name your wallet. We're going to name this one Test Wallet. And then go ahead and drop it on your desktop for now. 
Okay, then you click save. Go ahead and put a password. Um, let's try a different password. Okay. All right, so now we got a strong password. Go ahead and encrypt accounts. All right. So it's going to bring you to this. Now, what you want to do is click on show secret key. Okay. It's going to show you your secret key here. And you're going to go ahead and copy this key here. Without this key, you do not you cannot get access to your wallet if you lose your password. So make sure you you write this down. Uh, take a picture of it um, and don't lose it. Okay, this top number here, this is going to be your Ripple ID. Uh, so this is where you're going to be actually sending your Ripples to. Um, once you do that, you can go ahead and, yes, I've saved my secret key. Click on that. And it's going to bring you here. Okay, so it says here, your Ripple account is not active. To activate it, you will need to send at least 20 XRPs to this address. Well, good thing for us, we're going to be sending all our XRPs here. So don't worry about that. So now that we have that set up, we are going to go to Changely. Okay, this is where we're going to exchange our Bitcoins into XRPs. Now remember in the first step we bought our XR uh, we bought our our bitcoins from Coinbase Sorry guys this is uh, loading up pretty slow here Okay, so once we get in here, we are going to, usually your balance would be showing here under your portfolio, um, but this one is pending, so it's not ready to go yet. See, Bitcoin transactions delayed. So right now, the Coin, Coinbase is... is it has a lot of transactions going on, so it might take a little longer than expected. Um, but what we want to do is we want to figure out exactly how many Bitcoins we are going to be able to buy. I mean, send over to Changely to buy XRPs. Um, keep in mind, there is a fee. So that's why we want to know exactly how much it is minus that fee. So what we do is go to send and request. Okay, right here, you're, it's going to show your balance of Bitcoins here. You're just going to click Use Max. So when you use Max, it's going to go ahead and convert how much Bitcoins you're going to send minus your fee. Okay, so once that pops down, you're going to go ahead and copy that. Come over to Changely. There's a Changely link that I posted in the group, um, and it will also be in the file sections of the group as well. Go ahead and set up your account, get verified. Um, once you do that, come back to the home page, enter the Bitcoins that you have from doing this step. Make sure you click Bitcoins here. You want XRP to be here. Enter the amount. It's going to show you how exactly how many XRPs you're going to get. Go ahead and click Exchange. Okay, once you do that, it's going to bring you to this, to this page. Okay, now you just want to make sure that this number is exactly what you're going to be sending from Coinbase. If it's a little off, the transaction is not going to go through, and you could lose some money there so make sure that you do this correctly okay after you've done that you go ahead and click next 
okay it says enter the recipient's XRP address so you go back to your ripple account you're gonna click the the ripple address here on top come back to changely paste it here ripple does not have a destination tag so you can go ahead and remove that then you go ahead and go to next okay and then you make sure that everything is correct make sure that the address is correct confirm and make payment all right so now we're gonna go here and we're gonna copy this address so you're gonna copy go over to coinbase paste that address into coinbase okay and see here's the network fee that it gives you you click use max I mean you should have already did that before you put the recipient in so you know how much it's gonna cost once you do this you go ahead and send funds you click on this once you do that on coinbase it's gonna show as pending But that's pretty much it guys so after you've done that you just keep it on your on your uh, dashboard here as you can see mine is still pending uh, when you go to your ripple wallet um, it's gonna also show as pending once it hits it will reflect here and that's pretty much it and then you were just gonna hold all right just hold on to those XRPs and we shall be in profits very soon. All right, well, that's it, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the group chat or the Facebook group itself, um, and I'll be happy to answer your questions or help you guys out. All right, thank you so much.